Good day mga kasiloy. Here are the top stories in today's edition of Cebu Daily Newscast, July 12, 2023. When Vince Sass from San Fernando, Cebu, shared on social media about his and his friends' encounter with a cobra in a mountainous area of the town, netizens reacted in fear. Cobras, like any other snakes, like to live in places where they are not easily spotted. This is to increase their chances of grabbing a meal. Hence, snake bites on humans do happen sometimes. Here are some tips from experts on how to deal with snake bites. First, lay the patient down in a comfortable and safe position. Second, immobilize the bitten limb with a splint or sling and apply pressure to the affected part if necessary. Third, avoid any interference with the bite wound such as incisions, rubbing, vigorous cleaning, massage, and application of herbs or chemicals. Fourth, Do not use a tourniquet and ice packs on the bite marks. Fifth, do not puncture, pinch, or scrape the beaten area and never suck in venom from the patient's open wound. And finally, seek immediate medical attention. Meanwhile, a female teenager in Mandawi City carried her dead sister's picture as she did the graduation walk to receive the latter's high school diploma. This was after 18-year-old Trina Owano of the Mandawi City Comprehensive National High School passed away due to complications caused by diabetes days before her graduation. City Councilor Malcolm Sanchez posted on his FB page a picture of the sister together with relatives who stood to receive the diploma of Trina Owano. In other news, a 23-year-old single mother was arrested with an estimated 340,000 pesos worth of suspected shabu. This was during a by operation in Barangay Inayawan, Cebu City on Tuesday afternoon, July 11, 2023. The joint anti-illegal drugs operation was conducted at 1.35 p.m. by the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency in Central Visayas, the Naval Forces Central, and the policemen from the Pardo Police Station. Operatives arrested the subject of the by operation was identified as Jonalyn Hamili, a single mother of three and a resident of Barangay Inayawan. According to Leia Alcantara, spokesperson of PDEA 7, the apprehended woman was a newly identified drug personality. And finally, nakurat ko no ang papa ni Aura Beguela na si Mr. O'Neill Bryan sa dihang naibawaan niya nga wala na dihay nag-istar ang anak sulod sa unong kabuan sa condo unit sa manager na ini nga si Vice Ganda. Nahibawaan lang ni sa papa ni Aura sa diyang nagka-istorya sila ni Vice tungod sa nasudla niyang kagubot sa batang aktor. Gibili ni Mr. O'Neill kang Vice ang anap, anak isip manager ni ini. Mao nga, nakurat na lang siya kung manabalitaan niya ang pagka-appeal ni ini sa usang kagubot nga isang kupagid sa pagkapriso ni Aura. Mao niyang gibalita ni Augie Diaz sa YouTube channel ni ini nga Showbiz Update nga gi-upload sa alas utso sa gabi sa Julio G's. And that's it for today's edition of Cebu Daily Newscast. I am Dennis Ingson, hoping that you will join me again tomorrow. You can get the full story by visiting our page at cdn.ph or follow us on social media at CDN Digital. Ang pinggit mo sa kanunay mga kasiloy. <laughs>